I don't know how or what better way to explain this than to say that I want to have a baby. It sounds so weird to say I want to, you know, feed this baby. I want to take care of this baby. I got to be consistent with this baby. What's going on, Fox fam? Welcome back to another vlog. So currently, I am inside my backyard. We got my trampoline set up. It's another beautiful day. It's actually getting kind of cold lately, which I actually really like because, you know, it's not summer. Seth is always cutting stuff over there. Seth. Cut it out. Anyways, I was challenged by Anchor to test out the most durable, strongest, most reliable iPhone cords in the game. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, guys, I'm gonna open up my Anchor Powerline lightning cables here. These are 10 feet long. Okay, so these come in, I think, four different colors and four different sizes. These are red, this one's obviously red and it's a 10 foot. I don't play games. If someone tells me these are the most reliable, most durable iPhone cords, by the way, also certified by Apple themselves, I'm gonna tie this iPhone cord between my trampolines and walk on this iPhone cord. What? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kids, do not try this at home. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trained Boy Scout. I'm good. Yo, I'm about to walk on this iPhone cord, guys. It's gonna be insane. Tightrope walk on an iPhone cord. Okay, that's not even tight enough. It's oh, so long. Look oh how much God, space wait. I have, and I have extra. I thought it wasn't gonna reach. Uh, I'm definitely a Boy Scout. This is how you do it. This thing is huge. Yo, let's see if it can withstand the weight of a human being. Okay. This is crazy. Now is the time, guys. By the way, let me say this. I'm not good at tightrope walking, so if I can even stand on it, that's good enough. This is actually very scary now that I'm up here. Okay, here we go. But it's, oh. it's working. Oh. It's oh. working. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! It did it! Oh my god! <laughs> How did that work? Look at this. It's like a seat. Just chilling on my iPhone cord. Oh my god! Guys! That's insane. It, you, I can literally unplug my phone. This is actually so cool. I can unplug my phone and then make myself a seat. I'm just bullying on it and it's staying. You bullying? It's just, I'm just chilling on this iPhone cord. Well, that worked fairly easy. Well, thanks for challenging me, Anchor. Uh, I did it. Wow, I am so surprised at how well this iPhone cable could support me. If you guys want a free iPhone cable and a discount, check out the link is in the description. Ah. A side note, also Taylor, look, we have matching I iPhone. Now you can't steal my iPhone cord because I have mine and you have yours. I won't need to. Taylor's using the one I just sat on because you know it, it can do that. With this thing. I could jump rope. Wait, that's I the could... real test. We have to see if this iPhone cable works after sitting it? on it. Let's go do it. Time for the real test. This is the iPhone cord that I just sat on and put all of my weight on and tightrope walked. Here it goes three, two, one. No way that still works. Beat the iPhone cable. We showed them that the iPhone cable was strong enough. What are we missing? Merch! Merch! Guys, the new merch just dropped like three days ago. Also, oh my god, I actually am glad I brought that up because you see this? You see this thing? Also, can you go shut your phone up? So guys, if you have not heard already, we have a whole new line that just dropped on T Fox brand. Actually, it's pretty convenient for you because see this iPhone 10? We actually have three of these to give away to you guys. So any orders over $50 this week on the website get entered into winning a free iPhone X. So uh, if you want a free iPhone X for no reason, these are like $1,500 phones, just go spend $50 on the website and then you get entered in the giveaway. Simple as that. Go get on it. <laughs> Guys, I'm curious on what goes through Kirby's head when I film her every day. They, do, you, do you know that you, you have like 500,000 followers on Instagram? Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea, Kirby, how much clout you have as a 13-year-old as a golden retriever? Hmm? You are so precious. Guys, I'm curious. Are you a dog or a cat person? Let me know in the comments down below. A little fun fact about my house if you didn't know. I can turn off the light, but then I can turn it... Oh. I guess it's not a fun fact because it doesn't work. I'm gonna move my propane tank really fast. Okay guys, so today's video is actually gonna be more of like an update sort of vlog with me and Taylor, you know what's going on traveling wise. And also I'm gonna talk to you guys about cars. As you know, I mentioned in yesterday's video that I've been looking at um, sort of like an off-road vehicle for myself. These are the kind of cars I'm talking about. G-Wagons, Jeeps, maybe Range Rover. The reason I want an off-road car is because if I wanna go buy a street bike, I can't go put that in the trunk of my GTR. I can't go put that in the trunk of my FRS because I 
I have these low, little tidy sports cars. The Focus or the P1 maybe could fit. If I wanna go to the desert right now and meet up with Jessica and ride on her Razor, it would be more convenient to have an off-road vehicle that kind of fits in with the whole play. Anyways, that's where I need your guys' help. Should I get a Jeep? Should I get a G-Wagon? Should I get a Range Rover? Should I get a truck? I just don't know because I don't know enough about off-road vehicles. But uh, by the way, uh, when I say this, I'm, it's not gonna happen like this week or in the next two weeks. Like. I'm talking when I'm 18 and I can go into a car dealership and buy a car for myself, by myself. That's what I wanna do is because I've been thinking about getting an off-road vehicle for so long. And you know what else is also weird? I feel like everyone always wants new cars. I don't know if that's just me, but like I always I always feel like I want change and I want something different. And I've been looking into sports cars. Like what could I do to upgrade from a GTR or what could I do that's better than my GTR? But like. To me, there's not a lot of cars that are better than a, G than a GTR, to me. I know they're like performance-wise and time and track and Nürburgring and all this, whatever, there's cars better than a GTR. But for me that I want more than a GTR, it's just really not there. Like I love my car so much. When I realized, I was like, oh my God, I don't have an off-road vehicle. It's the perfect addition to my fleet of cars. I need an off-road vehicle. I need a car that I can fit a bunch of friends in. I need a four-door car. I have the Focus, but you guys know that's kind of like, it's a P1, it's really classy. I don't want to put a lot of miles on it. Not gonna be happening for another like probably two or three months. But but you know, when I'm home, I like talking to you guys and you know, like I'm in my backyard right now. It's just, it's just fun. I just like being able to kind of update you guys on my life because when I'm traveling, I'm always on the go and I don't really get to do that. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the next few weeks of my life. Right now it is November 13th. 14, I don't even know the date, to be honest with you guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to LA for a meeting. On Tuesday, the day after tomorrow, I am going to Hawaii with my girlfriend until Saturday. And on Sunday, I'm going to Utah to meet up with Sean Duras. So that's from Sunday to Tuesday, right? So literally the next week and a half of my life is like jam packed. <laughs> I'm assuming then it's Thanksgiving. And then after that, I'm going to Dubai. <laughs> That's been like an all time dream of mine is to go to Dubai. I've never been there. That's one of the places I haven't been that I really wanna go. So that is what my travel life is looking at right now. I'm sorry for all the rambling and talking, but you know, there's just so much going on that I wanted to fill you guys in on. So uh, I told them that we're going to Hawaii. I told them. You excited? Yeah. How excited are you? Thrilled. Thrilled. Oh guys, hey Kylie and Vanessa. They're gonna get a brother. Not they're not it's not gonna be another sister, guys. I can't give you any hints because I don't even know who your sister's gonna be. But just know when we have a new house sometime in, in the near future, y'all gonna be chilling with your new brother, your big brother. They're all crazy all the time, racing all over the streets, going fast, going over the speed limit, causing mayhem. They need a brother to keep them in check. Don't you agree? Right now we're looking at another Terrain. child. Uh, some sort of child. We're gonna go look at some puppies Might because who doesn't off. love looking at puppies? Dang, that car has the new aerodynamic package. You see all like the fenders and the, the, the filters and stuff? You see that? That's for airflow. Careful. Dang, hey, they know what's good. They know what's good. That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in the middle, everyone. I'm gonna be coming up there. Guys, oh my god, I just thought of this. Guys, moto vlogs coming soon. When I get my freaking Grom, you guys saw um, the vlog, I think it was two or three days ago, two, maybe two days ago, when uh, I went Grom shopping. That is coming soon. All right, guys, here we are. We're down here at the San Diego Humane Society. These are all like dogs that you can adopt. They're not all brand new puppies from like a perfect litter, which is cool. Uh, we're not planning on getting a dog or anything, but Taylor is getting an apartment soon. So that's why we're here. We're gonna go see some uh, some dogs. Guys, I feel like this is just gonna make us one dog. These are, not a dog, these are cats, these are cats. Hopefully this inspires you guys to adopt a dog. Hi puppies, hello. Oh, look at all of them, there's so many. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's got Gucci on. He is a savage. He's got Gucci on. You got Gucci on, what's his Gucci? It's just red and green. You got that Gucci collar on though? That's dope. Taylor is making friends with Whatever a very- Every dog I get, I'm naming a Duncan. For We're... Dunkin' Donuts. I'm naming a Duncan, it's my dog. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Aww. He is a dog. Oh my god. He's a little an angel. Those were the sad guys, did you did you grow up watching those commercials? Because every time I used to watch like Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, all those, it would always come out with those commercials. Excuse me. Oh, uh, we can't have him because he doesn't understand when you're vlogging. Can he's trying to grow his channel. He's like, he's like, pop tag. He's like, give me, he shout me out. We're gonna keep, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, once again, I'm still vlogging. I've noticed there's a lot of chihuahuas here. What's up, brother? How you doing? Dang. Yo, I kind of like this one. This one's cute. Hi. This one's so adorable. He might be mean. Oh my gosh. He looks like a little lion. I like this one a lot. All right, so sadly, Chestnut, ch Chestnut is taken. Congrats, Chestnut. I'm proud of you. Whoa, this guy's savage. You. Look at you! What are you doing with a cone? Got a cone on! Oh, he's excited! Oh my gosh! 
You are hyped to be alive. Guys, it's so sad being here. All these dogs. Like, I just, I want them all. I want all of them. Like even him. Guys, if you can adopt a dog, you should, you should do so. Go to your nearest humane society and go look at some of the dogs, guys. Oh my God, this one's this little shaky guy, and then this guy's a huge. He's a little chaka. Look at him. He's so scared. Look at him. Look how nice. Oh, this one's friendly. Come here. Come here, bruh. Okay. You want some merch? I can give you some merch. Oh my god, this one's amazing. He has two holes. This is why two people asked to adopt him. Hey, there's a little Chewbacca. A little Chewbacca. Hey. Where do you come from? <laughs> Look at him, little nose, little nose, little nose man. This is actually um, super amazing, like being here. I haven't not been to a humane society in so long, and it's really like. Sad. It's like surreal to see it's all these so dogs. Like, like all these dogs are looking for a home. So if you guys like are looking for dogs, you should come here and adopt one. Oh my gosh, guys, we found the huskies. I am a huge fan of huskies. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, look at him. You're beautiful. Look at you. Look at that. Guys, we found two huskies in here. Oh, look at him. Okay, everyone. So super kind of short, jittery, jumpy, different vlog. I definitely haven't filmed a video like this in quite a while. So kind of doing a lot of stuff today. I'm going to end off today's vlog with a quick Q&A because it's been so long since I've done that. So I'm kind of doing it in my garage right now. Joining with Vanessa. You can see a little bit of her freaking her left eye right there. Without further ado, I introduce you to the Q&A of the week. All right. Mr. Luan asks, do you have a dad? I actually do have a dad and um, yeah, I have a dad. Biologically, you, you have to have a dad to be born. So I do I do have a dad, yeah. Here's a good question. What is happening with the T-Fox World Tour? So as you guys know, a month and a half ago, or probably like longer than that, probably three months ago, we did a giveaway for T-Fox brand. Basically, it was Battle of the Countries. Whichever country sold the most merch, that's where we were gonna go on tour and uh, we picked the date. We picked the date, everything like that. Long story short, the tour is happening. This January, guys, we're going to have a meeting tomorrow with um, the place where we're gonna have the actual meet and greets. Uh, so that is coming this January. That was a good question. Will you and Taylor ever live together? That's actually funny you asked that because I announced a few weeks ago that me and Taylor are officially roommates for this month. She's getting her own apartment at the beginning of December, but for now, she's pretty much living here. So we're like housemates right now. It's cool. <laughs> Here's a really interesting question. When you met Taylor, did you ever consider cheating on her. So that's actually kind of a weird question because you know, I have I have cheated on I have cheated on her and, and it was a sore thing that me and her went through and I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't even known that and wow, yeah, I didn't think I'd ever be vlogging about this. I actually have cheated on Taylor before with uh, Vanessa and Kylie here. We've actually had a a threesome. <laughs> Guys, I am completely kidding. I'm probably gonna use that as clickbait for this video though. Have I cheated on Taylor? Uh, I have I have cheated on Taylor because these are my these are my side hoes right now. This is Kylie, this is Vanessa, and uh, yeah. No, I would never cheat on Taylor with another actual human being. Uh, but my cars, love my cars so much. And uh, that, was a, that was a good question though. Hopefully I tricked you guys a little bit. Hopefully you guys got a little scared. That's probably the title of this video, so I'm sorry. Laura asks, what is your middle name? My middle name is Stratton. Guys, also, I know I've been doing so much talking this video, but I feel like when I'm home, that's when I get to update you guys on my life and actually get to know you better as like a human being and we get to become better family members. If you're in the Fox fam and you know, uh, we get to become closer. That's why I like talking so much when I'm home because when I'm out traveling, it's all about what we're doing and it's just constant moving. So I really hope you all like these kind of videos a little more because I just get to get on another level of like comfortability with you guys. Hopefully you, hopefully you agree with me on that. Hopefully I'm not being annoying and you're sick of me talking. You probably are sick of me talking because I've been talking for like the past 10 minutes. Okay, Fox fam, now that I have done the Q&A, there's actually something that I've been thinking about. This is actually something that me and Taylor and, why is it being so unfocused? Oh my goodness. And honestly, like I don't know how, what better way to explain this than to say that I want to have a baby. It sounds so weird to say, I want to, you know, feed this baby. I want to take care of this baby. I got to be consistent with this baby. It's going to be a whole nother almost like a life form that I'm gonna have to take care of and I think I'm ready for it. I, I, I've been doing this, you know, I've been doing YouTube for two years and I, I just honestly think it's something I'm gonna have to talk to obviously Taylor about. I'm, I'm talking to you guys about it now and I think I'm ready to have baby. I'm sure this is coming off a little weird. You're like 10 or you're 17. 
and I just farted. What do you mean you want to have a baby? That doesn't even make sense. Well, I might not be talking about the same baby you guys are thinking of, okay? I've been doing YouTube for two years, and my YouTube channel is like another human being. I take care of this human being every single day, and by having another baby, I, I mean I want to start another channel. Now, this channel might be a Tanner Fox number two channel. It might be a channel with my girlfriend. It might be a channel with my friends. It might be a channel with the Fox fam. Like, I don't know what it is. I've been giving this so much thought and I honestly think that I'm ready for it I, I want to start a second channel I don't know what I want to do you know being home I've had time to think and I want to do new things I want to attack new goals I want to set new goals for myself I want something else that I can work hard towards and I think starting a new channel is just perfect for that so what I'm gonna do is let you guys decide should I make a channel with Taylor should I make a ch should me and Taylor make a couples channel and we can do couple advice so you know this is like a huge deal this is an extremely big deal you guys are gonna have to agree with me on it if it's gonna work so I'm gonna need your guys' love and support on this let me know in the comments down below and drop a like on this video if I should start a second channel whether it's with Taylor whether it's with my friends whether it's with you guys or whether it's just by myself and it's just a collab channel and it's like another thing I can do it's gonna be like taking care of another child, just like my YouTube channel is now, but I freaking love it. I'm not complaining in any way. I love making YouTube videos. I love this child. I love you guys like watching these videos. So I think I'm ready. I think I can do it. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I should do it. That is gonna do it for today's vlog. Uh, again, I was just trying to make this video more updating you guys and getting on another personal level with you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out. Let's roll the Fox fam. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, roll the up, Joe. I wish you were so good.